All right. So there is always a big question: How to memorize single letter code of amino acids? Here I am with an answer. You can remember single letter code of amino acid. Not only you will remember single letter code of amino acids, but you will remember their chemical properties as well. Very, 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 very important topic for CSI NET, get life science, get biotechnology, any other. life science field chemical science field you need to know the single letter code for amino acids and here i am with the mnemonics and tricks to remember the single letter code of amino acid and the chemical property of those amino acids whether they are acidic they are basic they are polar they are non polar right so let's hop in and start the timer we we'll start the timer and we'll move on to this first part that is the chemical nature and the names so first i'll continue with this this is the mnemonic that you need to remember the mnemonic is a little big but i believe you can easily understand this with the help of one image that i'm going to share about now ashok gulati liza and himanshu gave platinum plate to the scavenger god so think of avenger scavenger scavenger is basically uh, you know uh, the scavenger god we think of someone who scavenges things so ashok gulati liza and himanshu three people gave platinum plate to the scavenger god okay so for that i have a picture for you why i put this picture there is a reason there are three people and every single one of them has one hand each one two and three three hands you can see so one is for ashok gulati another one is for liza another one is for himanshu this is himanshu let's say and they are giving a platinum plate to the scavenger god they are providing this plate to scavenger god to please the scavenger god so it's very important that you print this sentence in your mind that's why all these pictures are there ashok gulati lies and himanshu give platinum plate to the scavenger god now we are going to break this sentence down and first we'll break it to this part give ashok gulati lies and himanshu give till this part then you move to platinum plate to the scavenger god in the next slide so the first one ashok gulati lies and himanshu give and you can see that we start with ashok a capital g capital liza l capital and a capital himanshu h capital and give g a v three of them are capital so the capital letters they are the letter single letter code for all the amino acids right that we know so let's 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 start to see that so ashok gulati a and g a and g both are capital a is for aspartic acid and g is for glutamic acid aspartic acid glutamic acid gulati glutamic acid ashok aspartic acid both of them are belonging to acidic amino acids start with acidic ashok gulati gives you the idea of acidic amino acids next one liza and himanshu liza l1 ly is for lysine and a for arginine and himanshu h for hi himanshu histidine okay so lysine arginine histidine liza and himanshu lysine arginine histidine all these three belong to basic amino acids they are basic in nature got it clear no big deal let's move to the next slide so this part is done ashok ashok gulati and liza and himanshu this part is done then we are going to talk about gave a platinum plate to the scavenger god so we have this gave platinum plate to the scavenger god you can see the scavenger god there is also uh, alphabets in uh, capital letters so you will see gave a platinum plate now gave platinum plate g a v all three are capital g for glycine a for alanine v for valine gave platinum plate so gave glycine alanine and valine then we have platinum p and l p for phenylalanine and l for leucine got it next tnm t and i t for tryptophan i for isoleucine and m m for methionine plate p for proline all this glycine alanine valine phenylalanine leucine tryptophan isoleucine methionine and proline are the list of non polar amino acids so they are they are not charged okay so they are not they are they are hydrophobic amino acids right so they always try to escape from water and water content so aqueous content they are going to be always placed in the center core of the uh, globular proteins so gave platinum plate gives us the name of the non polar amino acids last what we have is the to the 
scavenger god this part to the scavenger god okay so t t for tyrosine then another t th for threonine see the difference t for tyrosine th for threonine then we have s c a s for serine c for cysteine a for asparagine a s n asparagine okay and g and a glutamine okay glutamine so all these things are done and they are polar amino acids these are all polar amino acids it's only glutamine so i keep it small a don't need to write capital in here so these are polar amino acid means they are uh, they are they are not charged basically because charged ones are also polar like the basic and acidic we have uh, understood them separately but these are the polar ones the scavenger god to the scavenger god tyrosine threonine serine cysteine aspergine and glutamine not aspartic acid and glutamic acid aspergine and glutamine are polar amino acid aspartic acid glutamic acid are polar but they are acidic amino acids so this is how you can remember amino acid single letter code and you can also remember the chemical nature of every single amino acids quite clearly i believe you have a clear understanding if you understand it clearly then click the like button share this video with your friends and colleagues subscribe to this channel to see more and more videos like this in future and also watch all the videos of this series to get a clear understanding okay thank you